So this particular piece of hardware we're manufacturing um, is an SLS design, but it will also be utilized to support the Orion EFT-1 flight in, in 2014. We're able to take advantage of the fact that we have similar, at least, vehicles on the front end and design this adapter, design it once, and that provides for a cost savings basically to both programs. They're not designing an adapter for their flight and us designing one for SLS. So we're taking advantage of that, providing this hardware early. It gives us a valuable flight experience on our hardware prior to either our 2017 test flight or our first manned mission in 2021. A lot of programs take years and years, and for us to have the opportunity to build the first piece of SLS flight hardware and provide it to another program, that's exciting. Our team's excited. Uh, they're excited to come to work every day, and they're excited to have an opportunity to support someone else in moving toward our overall exploration goals. We've been able to take an existing ring forging that was a fixed diameter and make a smaller ring out of it by cutting pieces out, welding it together, and essentially forming a, a, a smaller diameter ring from a large piece. So by doing that, there's going to be a cost savings, and you know we'll develop our processes to create a much better flight article. What's important is that we meet the schedule to support the Orion test flight. Uh, we have several major milestones that we've already passed through, so we're manufacturing the, the, the first units. and. You know, we're going to beat the schedule. We're going to deliver the hardware ahead of schedule. We're going to support the interface test, and we're going to be ready to fly come 2014.